இதை பார்த்து கொண்டிருக்கும் அனைத்து நேயர்களுக்கும் அபிராமி ராமநாதன் வணக்கங்கள் இந்த இந்த எக்ஸ்போ எக்ஸ்போ நடத்திக்கிட்டு இருக்காங்க ரொம்ப நல்லா நடத்திக்கிட்டு இருக்காங்க என்னை கேட்டிங்கன்னா எங்களுக்கு தேவையான ஒன்று இது அதாவது திரையரங்குகளை பற்றி யாருமே கவலைப்பட மாட்டார்கள் பொதுவாக இதுவே ஒரு நடிகரை பற்றி கவலைப்படுவாங்க தயாரிப்பாளர் பற்றி கவலைப்படுவாங்க ஆனால் தேட்டரில் என்னென்ன இருக்குங்கிறத பற்றி யாரும் கவலைப்பட கிடையாது ஒன்றே ஒன்று தான் என்னுடைய பாப்கார்ன் விலையை தவிர உங்களுக்கு இதை பற்றி நீங்கள் கவலைப்பட்டதே கிடையாது நான் என்ன பண்ணியிருக்கேன் இல்லை சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபோர்னு சொல்கிறாங்களே அதெல்லாம் பண்ணியிருக்கணும் அட்மாஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கணும் லேசர் பண்ணியிருக்கணும் டிஜிட்டல் பண்ணி அதை பற்றி நாங்கள் கவலைப்படாதுங்க நடிகர்களை பற்றி தான் கவலைப்படுறீங்க ஆனால் எங்களுக்கும் கவலைப்படுறதுக்கு ஒருத்தர் இருக்கார்னு அந்த தியேட்டர் வேர்ல்டுங்கிற மேகசின் ஆரம்பிக்கப்பட்டிருக்குது அதனால் இவங்களுக்கு நான் நன்றி சுகூர கடமைப்பட்டிருக்கேன் அதோடு மட்டும் இல்லை இப்போ நானே ஒரு தேட்டர் கட்டுறேன் இல்லை ஒரு தேட்டரை புதுப்பிக்கிறேன் எனக்கு சீட் வேணும் ப்ரொஜெக்ட் வேணும் அதை தயாரிக்கிறவங்க எல்லாரையும் ஒரே இடத்துல உட்கார வச்சு போட்டி இல்லாத ஊரில் குடியிருக்கப்படாதுன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஒரு போட்டியும் க்ரியேட் பண்ணி நாங்கள் போய் அதெல்லாம் பார்த்து ஒருத்தவங்க வந்து செலக்ட் பண்ணுற மாதிரி பண்ணிடுறாங்க பாருங்கள் அதாங்க இதுக்கு பயர் செல்லர் மீட் இங்கிலீஷில் சொல்கிறது அதையும் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க அதனால் திரையரங்குகள் மிக நன்றாக இருக்க வேண்டும் அப்படிங்கிறதுல அக்கறை கொண்டு உள்ள ஒரு பத்திரிகையாக இருக்காங்க தியேட்டர் வேர்ல்டு வெளிநாட்டை நடக்கும் நான் இந்த ஹாங்காங் போயிருக்கேன் சினி ஏஷியா நடக்கும் அங்கே போயிருக்கேன் ஏன் இந்தியாவில் நடக்கிறதுலே நினச்சிக்கிட்டு இருப்பேன் அப்போ இவங்க பண்ண ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்காங்க இவங்க இன்னும் மேலும் மேலும் பெருசாக பண்ணணும் அடுத்த வருஷம் இதை விட பெருசாக பண்ணணும் இன்னும் நிறைய வியாபாரிகள் இங்கே வந்து ஒன்றா இருக்கணும் பல தேட்டர்கள் நாங்கள் ஆரம்பிக்கல எங்களுக்கு சௌரியமாக இருக்கணும் அப்படின்னு உங்கள் எல்லார் மூலமாக நான் இவர்களுக்கு நன்றி சொல்கிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் இன்று சென்னையில் நடைபெற்று கொண்டிருக்கும் பிக் சினிமா எக்ஸ்போ எக்ஸ்போவுக்கு நாங்கள் வந்திருந்தோம் மிகவும் சிறப்பாக அமைந்திருக்கின்றது திரையரங்களுக்கு உரிய அனைத்து நவீன தொழில்நுட்பங்களும் இங்கே இருக்கின்றது இந்த தொழில்நுட்பங்களை நாங்கள் பயன்படுத்தினால் திரையரங்குகளுக்கு வரும் பார்வையாளர் எண்ணிக்கை மிக அதிகமாக உயரும் இதை பயன்படுத்துவதற்கு நாங்கள் தயாராக இருக்கின்றோம் இப்படிப்பட்ட எக்ஸ்போக்கள் அதிக அளவில் வந்து எங்கள் மக்களை அதாவது திரையரங்கு உரிமையாளர்களை கவர்ந்து அவர்களை தங்கள் பக்கம் இழுத்து சென்றால் நாங்களும் அதை பயன்படுத்தி மிக சிறப்பான ஒரு நிலைமை அடைவோம்
So we provide you know wide range of network to them, and we we actually uh, give them a very lesser kind of you know distribution uh, uh, fees because you know while uh, this and again the dis uh, and the wide range of network and the same day same day same shows. So here the product what I'm what I'm actually now actually uh, showcasing here one is the big one RGB laser projector which is with which is go up to you know one lakh lumens. Uh, 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 one lakh lumens uh, uh, FL, you know, foot Lambert. That was the uh, one new product which has actually come up with. That is with 4K, uh, Christie 4K projector. That is a fully a uh, Christie, uh, Christie product. And the second one is, uh, you know, IMS 3000, which is this product is coming up with, uh, you know, it's inbuilt with uh, Adobe 850 servo. So this is the uh, one uh, integrated uh, uh, IMB, IMB product with uh, IMS 3000 uh, uh, servo. So that's, that is with CP850 uh, processor inbuilt. And the third one is like uh, we are uh, actually showcasing Impact Exchange, which is our own, uh, a ticketing system. And the fourth one is Nova Cinema, which is actually a you know, asset light uh, uh, cinema, which is actually, a, you can say, prefabricated cinema, which if someone wants to uh, get into a you know, cinema business, so they can easily go and actually uh, do the, on their own things. So these are all the products which we are actually now uh, showcasing here. Sorry, future. Uh, so now, actually, we are uh, uh, coming up with uh, uh, two three zero eight projector, which is actually a three series projector, wherein uh, you know these projectors are actually not yet been actually imported. So this is just under uh, uh, it's under manufacturing uh, uh, locations. So we may expect those projectors in next uh, uh, few months. So currently we have got around 6,600 uh, screens, uh, which is globally we have got 6,600 screens, out of which uh, you know, 5,100 in uh, India and 1,400 uh, screens in uh, globally, like you know, uh, Dubai and UAE and everywhere. So all these things. Thank you, Mr. Galbaiwala. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in inviting Mr. Abhi Rami Ramanathan, Managing Director, Abhi Rami Mega Mall, to kindly say a few words. Let's have a huge round of applause for him, please. Thanks for the applause. <laughs> Dignities on the dais and my dear friends, sisters, brothers, everybody here. I was asked to come at 10.15. As usual, I am always punctual. I came here at 10.12. I don't think anybody expected me at that time. I saw Mr. Raghavan running and coming to me with two cameramen behind him. First I had a doubt whether the function is today or tomorrow. So I couldn't find anybody here. Then he brought me inside the auditorium and he gave me the pressure of inaugurating the auditorium because I was the first inside. Actually I found only one uh, good looking lady who was standing right next to me. Who was uh, walking up and down and cleaning the floor because her rope was in such a way that was cleaning the floor. And that's a nice method, you know, without asking somebody to sweep, you put two girls like this, they go up and down. At the same time, it's entertainment for everybody. At the same time, the floor is also clean. Friends, I don't know how to thank this Mr. Raghavan or congratulate him. Where is Mr. Raghavan? Oh, you are doing a special chair. Why should I? Thank you. Why should I? Thank you. See, I'll go back in my life. I started this film industry, I came into this film industry 42 years back. Abhi Rami was built in 1975, it was inaugurated in 76, and the first film was a 100 day film. I was a youngster, 4 years from college. I thought because of me this film has done 100 days, I am going to be respected left right center in the function. So they invited me for a 100 day function. Those days I didn't have a suit. So I went and borrowed one from a laundry and I had to pay 30 rupees for that. Then I went to the function, nobody cared for me, nobody recognized me, nobody even said hello. Okay, I thought it's common in film industry. I went and sat in one of the rows, I tried to sit in the front row, no, no, he, they told me the result for VVIP is you get lost. So I sat somewhere. First, I thought they were going to give the award first to me. No, it never happened. They gave the first to the hero, then the heroine, then the director, blah, 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 then the light man, then the car driver, everybody. Then finally they called me. When they called me to the stage, they gave me an award where my name was not there, some other name was there. They told, son, please repeat off, it will be yours. 
So from that day I understood whatever be in the film industry, nobody respects their owners. This is what I have seen in practically. All along my life I have seen nobody respects their owners. But, but for us, this industry cannot, could not have been there. Maybe today you have television, maybe you have today uh, people coming, uh, movies coming in the downloading. But those days we were the only people with the only entertainment available for India. But we were not given the respect to what we were supposed to have had. So we got used to it and uh, that way I should thank this Mr. Mittal for thinking that there should be magazines is required for these guys. He was the founder of this magazine. Please rise and show because there are so many people standing here, nobody, sitting here, nobody knows who is with us. And followed by Mr. Raghavan. First time ever a magazine is coming just telling us what is there where, what is happening where. Otherwise nobody knows what is happening. For example, I request that Mr. Raghavan should write a history on Indian cinema. For those who do not know, those who are thinking wrongly, the first multiplex was built in Chennai. It was Safed Theatre. It was three in one. And the best part of it is one of its small theatres was a continuous film. Non-stop. It goes on from morning 9 till night, 1 o'clock. At any time you can go in and any time you can come out. You have three hours to spend, you can just simply go. That was the first one. And second was Devi Theatre. That theatre is no more there. But the next was Devi Theatre. With two huge theatres, one of the thousand seater, above or not thousand seater. And we had two small theatres and it's still there. That was the second multiplex of India. People do not know that. So that way when it comes into theatrical, the first touring theatre of India was in Salem, known as Vincent Theatre. That guy went touring up to Kashmir and showed films. People do not know this. And when it came to technology development, computerization of tickets was done in Chennai by me. A 3D theatre was built first of its kind in India, in Chennai which is no more than pilot theatre. They had three projectors where three films were loaded and at the same time three films are uh, projected on the screen. First 3D film in Chennai where you can watch it without a glass. The technology, I don't know what has happened, it, the screen is made of glass. So we have so many films and I, my humble request is uh, please write the history from your magazine and whatever be the cost I will it. And when it comes to this uh, digital technology, who, which was the company which first introduced this DTS? That is Chennai, a real image, a man is sitting here. Yeah, where is he? Sendhil is here? Or we have here? Sendhil is here. The man always behind the show. Where is Mr. Sendhil? Will you please rise? Huh? Oh, he is uh, more busy selling his things. <laughs> and listening to some fellows talking about something, okay? They were the people who introduced this uh, digital projection, digital sound system and uh, digital transmission. And you know how they got into this field? By doing this, I was a guinea pig. They used me as a guinea pig and thanks to that. Huh? So, this way, I should more or less thank this company this digital world or whatever they have been doing for us and whatever they are going to do for us. Apart from that, we require this buyer-seller meet. Buyer-seller meet. Who are the seat managers? Suppose I want to run it, I wouldn't know who are the people. I can understand only two managers coming to me. But when I require where to contact, whom to contact? By putting up an exhibition with so many stalls here, where it seems there are going to be six, six seat manufacturers here. So, there is a saying in Tamil, Poti la the ur kudi don't live in a place where there is no competition. When competitors are here, everybody will cut, uh, cut in and we will get the best price. So, this theatre world is seeing to it in such a way that I get the best price for everything and the best equipment and best possible things available. So, once again, uh, with these few words, I want to thank this company, particularly Mr. Raghavan, and also congratulate him for whatever he is doing by this uh, exhibition. As a token of affection, I want to give him a small gift. Thanks for a few people who applauded without the lady asking for it. This is a lamp which floats in water. With a little bit of oil, it will burn. According to me, the water is the public. Oil is you. Lamp is me.
And once again, gentlemen, when we come to the public, nobody is bothered about us. They are bothered about only, only, particularly them and the media people. There are so many media here, I am openly talking, they are bothered only about what the cost of my popcorn and nothing else. They regularly have a trade show where four people will be sitting. One of that will be a dumb exhibitor who does not know anything. That uh, TV will select such a person. And all the three will uh, try to kill him for the cost of the popcorn. And all the other three wouldn't have never gone to a theatre. This is the angle of everybody. In this situation, I once again thank this theatre world for pushing our trade to the front and letting, know, letting us know what others are doing and what we are doing to others. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Mr. Parker. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to invite Mr. Devang Sampur, Director of Strategic Initiatives. Cinepolis to kindly say a few words. Thank you. Hi, good morning. So, I think Mr. Matil has, uh, you know, kind of touched upon the point which I was thinking uh, since the expo that we heard. Last time I wasn't here in the country and I was not able to attend this expo. And, you know, everybody in the whether it is supplier, whether it is the theatre community, whether it is distribution house, all started. Why were you not there? I mean, that raised the question that the first year of success, because every time we visit, I mean, we come, uh, Cinepolis is a Mexican uh, brand, and when we did our research, back in 2001, we had uh, 11,000 screen in the country. So we did research that, no, there has to be something which uh, you know, it's a number of screen wise, India is uh, currently controlling largest number of screen. Why do we need more screen and uh, why do we need to enter India? And then the second point which Michel pointed out that, you know, we came to know 70% of those screens were there only in South. So rest of India, A, there is a big potential. B, uh, you know, the South of India itself, the movie contents are growing day by day. So we thought, no, we must look at the country. In 2007, when we looked at the number of screen was 11,000. Today back again from 2001 to 2016, when we look at a couple of years back data, the number of screen in the country still remains 11,000. So we said there is some opportunity, more number of screens are growing, but at the same, number, at the same time, number, number of screen, uh, screen setting down is equal. So. Uh, I think we have a platform now, at least the like-minded people are coming together uh, and they say that when the like-minded people come together, there is always a sign of a growth. So thank you Raghav for bringing this upon. Uh, when we go to expos in Cinesia or you know, uh, expos in Vegas, for us when they show, I was just talking to uh, you know, real machine and they were telling me the laser projector. I mean, the laser projector lending cost in India is around 2 crore rupees. So, that is completely irrelevant to what we see there. Even though we get very excited about what is happening uh, and what is futuristic. But in the real world, I think this is the opportunity, these two days for all the exhibitor have an opportunity to see what is relevant to them. People whom they do deal with is the right platform and thank you for organizing that platform Raghu. Wish you good luck. Thank you, Mr. Sambhat, for sharing your valuable views with us. I would now like to invite Mr. Arvind Ranganadan, CEO, Cube Cinema Technology, to kindly address the gathering. Good morning and a very, very warm welcome to all the participants, exhibitors, and the press who gathered here today. Uh, I am extremely happy today to make the acquaintance of Sandeep and Raghav because everybody else on the days we have had something to do with, we have been working together in this domain for a long time. But strangely, the very first name that we came across in the theatre, when we went marketing from theatre to theatre for a digital thing, everybody had a theatre world on their desk. Right? So it was something that was, uh, I was pleasantly surprised that you had found an opportunity where the theatre is getting addressed. So, which is also the focus of our company, we have always uh, worked from the theatre side, as Mr. Ramnathan might know. 
uh, whether, whatever technologies we brought, whatever we've done, we've always worked from the theatre side and I was very happy to see your magazines there and if many people used to refer to it to say, where is this mentioned, where is this digital thing mentioned. So, I'm very, very happy to be, know you and be a part of something that you're doing as well. And uh, more than that, I'm very, very happy that this show has caught on so well and uh, you brought it to Chennai and as Mr. Ramanathan said, uh, this is where digital is founded in India, whether it was sound or visual. All of it happened from Chennai, from Real Image. So, in that sense, I'm personally, there are multiple reasons why I'm happy about that. Because the South also is, uh, as, as you might have experienced, a lot more passion goes into the theatre. A lot of people take a lot more care about the technologies that go into the theatre. So, I've seen participation, much, uh, very active participation in the shows here, which uh, I had not seen earlier. And, uh, I'm hoping that this venue will continue because I'm already hearing rumors about uh, maybe there are other shows that will come up and I hope this is not in place of the show that is happening in Chennai because I think a lot of theatre owners would find it easier to participate in Chennai and uh, I hope the show continues here for as long as we are all in this. Uh, back to the subject of what we are all here for, I'm, uh, in fact the, I can see that the number of uh, uh, exhibitors here uh, has gone up tremendously from last year and there's a lot more involvement in the show itself which has come out very well. Uh, I think all of us are here to debate about the future of the cinema, not just when we say cinema we're not talking just about the content side or the theatrical side, it's about the holistic thing of what is cinema and what is the cinema experience and all of us know that it is going to evolve uh, and change, not maybe in the next two years, but then definitely in the next five, ten years, all of this is going to have a dramatic change. And I think these kind of shows bring everybody together to see what is on offer, what, what things are changing around the world, and therefore what is it that we need to do, like Sandeep rightly said, to make the cinemas more relevant as we move forward as a form of entertainment itself. So be it holistic experience that you want to bring into the cinema, not just viewing it on the screen, but even from the moment you enter the cinema, I think there has to be an experience change that needs to you know, involve a lot, a, lot, a lot of other technologies into play, content into play, interactivity, a lot of things. From that to also the kind of experience that you want to have inside the cinema. Obviously everybody can put up a little bit of capital to set up a theatre, but to run it efficiently and run it in a way that uh, engages the audience I think is the real challenge and I hope Shows like this will bring all of you together to find some answers and make sure that cinema remains relevant 20, 25 years from now. And contrary to popular belief, we all believe that the cinema will continue to exist. We believe there is a role for cinema theatres and the social experience that it brings. And good luck to everybody here. Have a good show. Thanks.